Hey everybody, happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Patricia and as you can see by the thumbnail, my face is not happy. So let's just get right into it. So I purchased fragrances from Christian Dior um, last week. They came a couple of days ago. Now I have a vanilla video that um, people have been requesting for me to do what my favorite vanillas are. If you are a fan of this channel, you already know I live and die for vanilla. I'm a Scentsy consultant. I am the same way about vanilla in my home as I am on my person. So I am all about that vanilla life. With that being said, and knowing that you guys have been clamoring for me to do a vanilla favorites video, I had to get the vanilla new new. So your girl got the much hyped fragrance and the sort of controversial fragrance from Christian Dior. So while I was on the website, I went ahead and got an OG as well. So I just wanted to show you guys packaging. Now this came um, with a pretty little kind of bow like thing on it. I had to rip that off to open the package, but I do want to show you guys the packaging. They are all about the packaging. So you get a little bag. Obviously this is open because I've been using both of them, but I wanted to kind of package this back up the way it was presented so you guys could see how everything looks. So I bought two fragrances, my own money. <sighs> Pockets just crying, y'all. And got some samples. So the samples are in this bag. Um, the only large size sample that I got that I really, really wanted, um, this is just a regular, we all know what that smells like. It's a little tiny sample of Belle Du Jour. So this is just, there you go like that. And it's, um, it's not a sprayer. So I have to be careful with sniffing this one out. I smelled it before. I'm kind of like, oh, it's okay. I'm gonna put it, try and put this on a blotter as carefully as I can to see how it smells. It just smells like your ordinary fragrance. Um, This was one I had picked out. I hadn't really heard people talking about it. So I was like, you know what, let me give it a try. So let me give you the notes of this one right quick. It, it smells nice. This is what the bottle looks like. I am on the Dior website. And the fragrance notes are, it says it's a fruity composition. The fragrance is softened by deep musky notes that bring out its carnal beauty. So the family is a fruity floral. And it says it has the olfactory image of a pear dessert that teems with the fullness of fruit notes with the freshness of rose accords. Nice, just nice fragrance got a savage elixir for hubby and then just got some regular little um ordinary ends and odds that you know they give you as a freebie so let's get to the new new so yes y'all your girl went and decided to pick up vanilla diorama even though I have heard some people say it is not all of that, I was like, you know what? I love vanilla. I have a vanilla favorites video coming up. Why not give it a shot? I am not. This is a nice fragrance. Don't get me wrong. To me, this comes off as a, it's not really a gourmand vanilla, even though it says it's a gourmand. To me, it is not gourmand vanilla. To me, this comes off kind of clean, a little soapy slightly powdery it's a nice vanilla um it starts off with a citrus opening so it, it's like a maybe a lemony type of uh, vanilla a heavy citrus opening with this but like i said it comes off kind of powdery clean soapy i like it is it my favorite no I had heard many people kind of going on about this and saying, you know, it was really overly hyped and, you know, everybody was just like, okay, we got to get it. And then once people got it, they were kind of like, eh, 
it's okay. It's not groundbreaking. It's not earth shattering. You know, it's just a nice vanilla fragrance. But for the price tag, we are paying for this fragrance. I'm going to need it to be a little more earth shattering. So Vanilla Diorama is described as, it says the Diorama Gourmand. It says, while this pastry was specifically created by the famous Parisian restaurant Maxims, no pictures or descriptions are available, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it says, warm, round, and opulent. The Vanilla Diorama fragrance evokes the nobleness of Madagascar Vanilla. It portrays the perfect vanilla, I beg to differ. And it says its warm, intense trail of accents of rum and patchouli is contrasted by fresh citrusy notes and highlighted by a denser cocoa note. I don't really get the cocoa out of this. What I get is that citrus mixed with vanilla. It does smell slightly, slightly dessert-like, but to me, this is by no means a gourmand fragrance in the true definition of a gourmand. It's nice, but I have to agree with, you know, a lot of reviewers that I've seen review this. It is not earth-shattering. It is not groundbreaking. It is a nice vanilla fragrance, but... It's just a nice vanilla fragrance. I, I was really hoping, I think in my head, I thought this was going to be more like an oud bouquet type of fragrance. Something that was really kind of heavier, full bodied. Um, I had Feb Delicios in my head. So I'm like, okay, we know that's supposed to be like the OG powerhouse. So... If they're putting out heavy hitters like that, I thought this would be more of a heavy hitter, and it is not. <sighs> this just made me sad, y'all. So they were out of the small one. They have a 1.35 um, ounce. So this is the 4.25 ounce. This is 250 bucks. As I said, your girl took a hit, but... I was trying to take one for the team because of this vanilla video. And clearly, this is not going to make the cut in my favorite. Is not a nice fragrance? Yes. Will I wear it? Yes. There's a time and a place for all kinds of vanillas. And I do have all kinds of vanillas in my range. To me, like I said, this is a soft, citrusy uh, vanilla. It's pretty. It lasted about five hours. I wore it yesterday when I got the fragrance, but it was late in the day when I got it, so I couldn't really give it a full, full test. So this morning I put this on and around the third hour it became a really close to the body scent and easily by hour four it was a skin scent. It was one of these where I'm like, okay, yeah, I still smell it, but I have to do like this. And I was working the whole time, so I'm typing, my hands are moving, and by hour four, I could not smell myself unless, you know, I went in with the sniff to smell it. So I wore this for about five hours before I was like, you know what, I'm over it. Let me move on to the next thing. Like I said, nice vanilla, but for the price tag, of this fragrance. I need it more. I need it more depth, more warmth, more spice, more something. I don't know, but I just need it more. So it's funny, I was recently telling another uh, fragrance YouTuber that I have Vanilla Diorama, and she was asking me that I feel like it smelled similar to Feb Delicios. And I was kind of like, why would she be asking me that? Like, they're supposed to be two totally different things. So I had mentioned to her that I hadn't got the Feb yet and that I was still trying to feel vanilla um, diorama out. So um, I told her that I did purchase Feb Delicios and I was going to give it a shot the next day. So today was that day. So here we are, Feb Delicios. This is supposed to be the OG 
um, one of Dior's most prized and favorite fragrances. Now, I did also hear today that there are rumors that this has been reformulated. So this is the first time I've ever smelled this fragrance. Please comment below if you are an OG Dior fan and let me know, has this been reformulated because your girl is not that thrilled about this fragrance. Child, once again, pockets just screaming. Paid full price for this one as well. I don't remember if they were out of the small size of this. I think I was just kind of like, you know what? We're, we're going big or going home. This is the OG. This is the one everybody and their mama, you know, talks about. We can't go wrong with theft, right? I'm not that impressed. So I'm thinking this has to be reformulated because all y'all can't be wrong. So I put this on around, what time is it? About four and a half hours ago. So I can still smell it. Obviously, we would hope it would still be there after four and a half hours. It is very light. It's gone into a skin scent, but I can still smell it. Now, this one, once again, I don't know why, I'm just like oud bouquet that is just in the back of my head for some reason. I guess because it's bold, it's deep, it's rich. And I'm thinking, okay, this is that girl right here, right? To me, it's light. It smells like it's like watered down or something. It almost, now I see why she asked me that, because this does smell familiar. It smells like, similar to Vanilla Diorama. It basically smells like they took this and they added some more um, vanilla to it and the citrus note. And maybe they removed something to make this. They really do smell similar. And now looking back after I've worn this, I was like, this is why she asked me that question. So I need you guys to let me know, has this been reformulated? Was it stronger back in the day? Because right now I'm just like, this is what everybody was raving about, really? To me, this is giving off kind of powdery vibes it's almost the same like i said as vanilla diorama it's soft it's powdery i don't really find a full body robust gourmand from this you know i would think that i would be smelling like honeys and cherries and all kinds of really foody you know things that we think of when we think of gourmand and to me, it's just, it's just powdery. Pretty scent. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty, but once again, I'm thinking, okay, this is the powerhouse. This, this one right here, she is it. So let me give you the notes for this one as well. So it says, Tonka bean meets the warm and slightly smoky notes of vanilla to complete the delicious sensation, exquisite, this gourmand fragrance reveals irresistible exotic accents. So it says it is a feast for the senses. And it says it reveals the notes of bergamot and rose. It breathes freshness into this delectable fragrance. So it says the color is deep yellow of a delectable vanilla the black of crunchy coffee bean note and the brown of caramel note. So vanilla, coffee, caramel. I don't know, y'all. I, I just, I don't know. It just, it makes me sad because I think To me, it's just a very toned down version of that. It just smells watered down, toned down. It's not bold and robust. 
pretty, but I just, I wanted so, so much more out of this. And once again, for the price tag, this one was $250. And could I afford it? Yes, but for $250, I just feel like we should be getting more bang for the buck. I had thought when I first got this, this was going to be date night. This was, you know, nighttime. I feel like I could wear this to the office if I were going in the office. I just feel like it's very light. Very, very light. I mean, I'm wearing this in the office. If I'm going in, I'm wearing this to church. I'm just wearing it anywhere. I'm wearing it to the grocery store. I mean, it's just not that strong to me at all. Like I said, beautiful scent, but I, to me, it's just not worth the price tag. Vanilla Diorama reminds me a lot. I want to do a side-by-side -side of Guerlain's Chalamar Souffle Intense. Now, that is one of my favorites. I smelt this and was just like, give me all of the powder. This is a beautiful scent. Um, be getting some use out of it. But I'm going to do a side-by-side -side to really compare this. Because to, to me, my nose just smelt that. I actually like souffle intense better. Okay, let me do vanilla diorama again, y'all. We're going to give it a shot again. I really think I like... I like souffle intense better. Vanilla Diorama gives me more of the straight vanilla, but souffle intense gives me the vanilla, but it's very soft, powdery, light, fluffy, like a souffle. I just, I, I get more depth out of this one. Oh, it's so pretty. Vanilla Diorama is giving me straight vanilla mixed with that citrus note. Mm. Okay, so they're not alike. I needed to do that side by side of these two fragrances. They are not alike, but kind of sort of similar. So there you have it, my friends. I have gone out and got the new hotness and I'm just not impressed with it. Let me know. Um your interactions with both of these fragrances give me your thoughts have you tried both what are your opinions on both of these would you repurchase am i crazy am i nose blind let me know your thoughts i know everybody's opinions aren't the same everyone's nose picks up different notes and different feelings for fragrances so maybe it's just me maybe i was just expecting way too much let your girl know so comment down below on these two fragrances. Let me know your thoughts. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.